since we've already done an activity like this before, we're going to be looking at the sight word little. And little, you can kind of sound it out, but little is a two syllable word. Lit, tall. We don't hear the E in this syllable, but every syllable has to have a vowel, so that's why it's there. We don't hear it, it's silent. Lit, tall, little. So we're going to be reading the word little, like you are little and I am grown. And one day you won't be little, one day you'll be grown. All right, let's read the word little, ready? Little, 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 little. Kind of sounds funny when we say it a lot, doesn't it? All right, we're looking for the word little. Oh, there's my word little. I'm going to highlight it with my yellow highlighter crayon. It has six letters, it's a long one. Mm, let's find, where's the word little? There's the word little. Okay, let's find the word little. There's the word little. It looks like the word little is the last word in all of those sentences. I wonder if it is here also. Oh, it is. I wonder if these sentences will have a pattern when they read them, when we read them. All right, we found the word little. Let's see if we can read. Hmm. Oh, they all start with the word the. There's another pattern. The bug, bug. The bug is, this word is so. The bug is so little. Yep, it's even more little than you for sure. The b -b baby. The baby is so little. Oh, look how the first word, the third word, the fourth word, and the fifth word are the same. Just the subject, just what we're talking about changed. Oh, it's the same thing here. Just the subject changes. Here, same thing, just the subject changes. That's a, an easy pattern then, isn't it? The mouse is so little. It is so little, you're right. The frog is so little. They are so little. All right, we've read that one time. So let's circle and let's read our second time. Are you ready? Here we go. Little, 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 little. The bug is so little. The baby is so little. The mouse is so little. The frog is so little. Oh my goodness, that was our second time. This is going to be super easy our third time. We're so familiar with the pattern. All right, here we go. Little, 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 little. The bug is so little. The baby is so little. The mouse is so little. The frog is so little. All right, that was our third time. So now we have to rewrite our favorite sentence. You don't have to do the same one as me, but we can still do this together, okay? Because all of the sentences start the same and then you can choose which one you want to do and then we can continue. I think I want to, I think I want to do the frog because that one looks like fun for me to draw, but you can choose the baby or you can choose the bug or you can choose the mouse. You can choose the frog too, but that's what I'm choosing. So all of the words start with the word the. So we're all going to write the word the with a capital T because it's the word the starts our sentence. Then our H and then our E, the. Now, Find your word, either bug, or mouse, or baby, or frog. Leave your space and write your word. I'm gonna write frog. F-r-og. Now, if you didn't choose frog, copy your word, either baby, or bug, or mouse. 
after you have your subject, what your sentence is about, leave your space, everyone's going to write the word is. We know how to write is, I, S. Then leave your space and we're all going to write the word so, S, O. Then leave your space. Oh, I don't have room for the word little. So I'm going to write the word little right here. If you need to do that, you can do that too. You can also write on the back. I'm going to write little. L, I, T, T again, L, E. The frog is so little and we all need to put our period. Now I'm going to draw the frog. You need to draw whatever you wrote about. I wrote about the frog. So I'm going to try to copy how they did it. It looks like they have two big circular eyes and those are the pupils. And then it looks like they came down from the eyes at an angle. And it looks like they have a little happy face. And then for this, oops, I don't think I did that super well. There are three on each. Yeah, theirs looks better, but that's okay. I'm doing my best. I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna come around for one leg. I'm gonna come around for the other leg. And I'm going to do my best for the feet. Now, it's good if you use a pencil because then if you make a mistake, you can erase. But I need to use a pen so you can see. Does my illustration match my sentence? The frog is so little. It does. So make sure your illustration, your picture matches your sentence. And then when you're finished, we want you to record yourself reading another time, a fourth time. And be sure you show us your picture and your sentence when you're done. We're so excited to see it.